channel on four victims and villains. My name is Josh. Today we're traveling to Berlin for the Final Girls Film Festival. Final Girls Berlin Film Festival is one of my favorite film festivals to cover. If you do not know, it is a film festival in particular out of Berlin that specifically highlights genre pieces from women filmmakers and screenwriters. And it tells really feminine stories. And I'm really excited to bring you guys another uh, year of coverage for the festival. Now, my film festival coverage for this year is condensed because we are in the midst of planning Horrific Hope Film Festival, which is going to be April 5th and 6th, our own film festival. So this film today that I'm talking about is the only film feature-length film that I am, am going to be talking about, and then in the next week or two, depending on how my schedule goes, uh, you guys can also hear my thoughts on some of the shorts that I had a pleasure of viewing this year as well. That will be in written, so we're bringing the coverage via this video as well as written coverage, and if you guys are new to our content, you guys can check the links in the descriptions below to find out uh, where to access our website. It's victimsandvillains.net. And with all of the housekeeping out of the way, let's jump in and talk about this movie entitled My Animal. My Animal is a coming-of-age sto love story that tells the story of Heather and Johnny. Heather, who is currently kind of going through her own sexual awakening, and when she finds Johnny, it kind of uh, spirals both of their lives into some chaotic uh, territory. My Animal premiered last year at Sundance, and when you watch this movie, it has a very Sundance feel to it. If you've seen any previous Sundance selections, then you understand exactly what I'm talking about. There's just an independent charm that this movie possesses, and that's specifically what I'm talking about. But the lighting hits a certain way, the acting, the writing, etc. Let's jump into it. My Animal, I feel like, functions really well as a drama and this coming-of-age story with the Heather and Johnny dynamic at its center. But there are many other factors of this film that I felt like just didn't work. For one, this is supposed to be a creature feature, specifically a werewolf movie, and that element just kind of feels absent largely for the majority of this film. And so if you're coming into My Animal expecting a more independent, more gritty version of Ginger Snaps, it's probably the best comparison to this movie I can make. You will be sadly disappointed. A lot of the other elements of the movie as well also kind of feel a little bit as if the narrative is having problems juggling a multitude of things. Like the most interesting elements of this movie are definitely the Johnny and Heather love story. I thought the two actresses that played, played these parts were really well done. Bobby Salvador Menez plays uh, Heather in this movie. If I mispronounced that name, I'm deeply sorry. Amanda Sandberg plays Johnny in this movie. Honestly, I thought their chemistry and their relationship was probably the most compelling aspect of this movie, from their friendship to their romantic endeavors to kind of the fallout there uh, of afterwards. Both kind of have this like level of like one note toxicity to them. Menes comes from a partially toxic family where. She doesn't have the greatest relationship with her mother. And then you have Stenberg on the other side who has that cliche kind of really toxic, overbearing boyfriend who you know she's not happy with, but yet for some reason she stays. And that's kind of what passes as development in this movie. I really liked the relationship between Menez and her on-screen father in this movie. It was played by Stephen McCaddy from Watchmen 2009 fame. So Menez's character has two brothers who both love hockey, and that's kind of the one note that they have. Mom in the picture kind of has a tumultuous relationship with her, her kids and, and also somewhat feels like estranged from her husband. Again, a lot of these characters just feel really one note. I felt like I couldn't really root for any of these characters outside of Menez and, and Senberg just because I really wanted their relationship to thrive and see where I went next. And it just kind of ended up really feeling like really empty and one note to me. 
I talked earlier about how this movie feels like a compelling drama to me. And I think a large part of that is because of the elements, because of the coming of age story with Mena's character, also her sexual awakening in this. It feels like they use both of those elements to really springboard a werewolf movie and kind of use those as a metaphor for what it feels like kind of going through a change like that. And I can't say, I can't speak for everyone who's seen this movie, that just didn't really work for me. I felt like the, the werewolf and the horror elements really came into this movie way too late. Which feels like a, a missed opportunity, honestly, because it could have served as a great metaphor film similar to The Baba Duke. But rather, we're kind of left with just this story that feels a little bit underdeveloped, one note, and just really just doesn't hit all of the notes that it you feel like it should. The performances across the board are really good. The writing in this is really good, but again, it just it feels like such a missed opportunity because those those the world of the dra drama in this movie with the horror in it could have fused really well together and made this a very memorable film. And instead, I, I'm just kind of left with a, a forgettable coming of age story. All right, well, let's run this one through the Rorschach rating scale. I'm going to give my animal a 2 out of 5. I think there are elements of this that really work. The coming of age, the performances from the cast, and the visuals. I didn't even talk about the visuals. This movie looks gorgeous. But overall, it just kind of feels really empty, and it feels like a missed opportunity from uh, infusing more horror into this. This movie could have been a great metaphor for uh, coming of age, especially in today's culture, as well as also kind of finding your own uh, sexual identity. I think this movie could have served as a beautiful uh, metaphor for that. If you guys have seen My Animal, what did you guys think? Comment below and let me know. But let's talk about mental health. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about the mental health of this movie because A, I think this movie does it way better than I could ever articulate into words. B, I am a cis white man, straight male and have cannot speak to the things that this movie addresses in terms of LGBTQIA+. We have resources in the descriptions below. But this movie does address toxic people within your life, whether it is family or it is friends or a significant other. And I think that's the, that's the point of the film that I can really speak to. I've definitely had my fair share of toxic relationships, both romantically and uh, just cordially with, with people I've, I call friends in the past. And honestly, I just want to encourage you to really reevaluate the relationships that you have in your own life. Do they really care about you if you've recently had something traumatic happen? Are they reaching out for support? Are they reaching out first? Are they by your side? Do they laugh? Do they, does it feel one-sided? There are a thousand questions that you can be asking, but just ask yourself, are the relationships that I have and that I hold dear, are they bringing me value? Are they bringing me worth? And are they bringing, are they positive and reinforcements for my own mental health? Because sometimes we don't get challenged to ask these questions until it's already too late. It's one of the most heartbreaking things about the way this film ends is because those questions are asked. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicide, addiction, self-harm, or depression, click the links in the show notes below. Check out our mental health resource library. My Animal is an official selection of Final Girls Berlin Film Festival, which we will be also covering uh, some of the shorts from this year as well, but we'll provide more links in the descriptions below where you can check out more information on this year's lineup and more about the festival because much like horrific hope they do amazing things all throughout the year so if you missed it this time around they do have uh, summertime programs as well where you can hear from female filmmakers learn from them and more in the description below you guys will also find links to all of our content more podcasts movie reviews mental health resource library all of our socials giving to giving and donation options as well as that subscribe button so until next time remember to stay classy and hit that subscribe button